been around about six years and my crazy brother-in-law called me one day and said, let's go make cheese. And I said, what the heck? And this is a, kind of a, a lifetime passion. Uh, I grew up in the Midwest and we had a big garden. You know, we're really sustainable agriculture. And so I've always loved fresh organic produce. Five generations. Uh, I know re uh, the most knowledge I have is my great grandfather. Like I said, he homesteaded our current ranch. Um, when I was eight years old, I, I really wanted to keep bees. And my dad says, well, you're going to have to t attend a class. So Utah State University you know, had a class on beekeeping. So at nine, I was able to attend the class. And that's where I started beekeeping. So we went and took a week cheese course up at Utah State and uh, started making cheese, which just took third in the world championships in London. Sustainable, organic, fresh, local farm that we could provide in the community, teach them about organic, the environment, being healthy for your body. The farm's been open since uh, February, President's Day weekend uh, we opened, so about six months now. And our concept is uh, a farm-to-table cuisine. Um, and what we focus on is sustainability, availability, and seasonality. So what's ever fresh and in season and as local as possible within a 200 mile radius we feature and that means our menu evolves. It's not, and it you know, changes um, you know, sometimes from day to day, week to week. The farm has been a great supporter of ours. They use our promontory cheddar, which I mentioned just took third in the world. They use it in their mac and cheese and it's a fantastic product and it's very creamy and lush. One of the signatures of our cheeses is we have Jersey cows. So we have lots of cream, so our cheese is really smooth and creamy and delicious. Without the local growers, producers, there would be no farm restaurant. That's what it's all about, the, the concept behind the farm to table. It wouldn't, it wouldn't happen without those, those uh, growers and producers, so we're very lucky to have them. The farm is a, is a great outlet for us, which also sparks a lot of interest locally in local products, and we really appreciate that. I love the concept of what the farm's doing. The name itself really you know, embodies everything from farm to table, and buying locally, and, and working with um, local farmers. And so Steve's great about that. He really believes in that. It's not about just what you put in your body, but it's how you grow it. So what happens to those pesticides and everything, and fertilizers and everything, once they, you know, once you use them, they run off into the land and into the streams and into the environment. So being organic really is just about taking care of all of Mother Nature and your body. We don't have the mileage as uh, many other restaurants do with their produce coming from California um, and you know from Mexico and things like that. Ours, we really try to source as much as possible. If we can't, we eliminate it from the menu. If we can't find that ingredient, um, it's just not there. Chefs have been, everyone have been so fun to work with because they're really honest about feedback and they've been obviously very kind to us. Our setup is the way we feed our animals. We really, we, they get the highest quality. Most of it is all local. Our grains, everything that we give our animals is a, a local product. And it's also, like I say, a high quality where the animals, they just thrive in the conditions that we put them in. It was never our goal to get in every restaurant in Salt Lake Valley or Park City. It, we knew it was going, we were going, going to be kind of exclusive in certain restaurants and we knew kind of the, the people that we were going to go after or the restaurants we were going to go after were going to probably be higher end and that, that we knew that they cared about the quality of beef. Because we want to be able to put it in a place where they give good advertisement for a product. We don't want to cook in a way that doesn't give us the greatest light on uh, what we've put so much hard work into. We want to keep it fresh and um, once again that's an important value we hold here.